Hi everyone, welcome to Pom Closet. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this mitten, a pair of mitten in black and beige. This size fits woman size. And the tools you're gonna need uh, these needles number four it's a gold needle pair cutter the yarn needles and these are the yarns I'm using the greener yarn in beige color 100% cotton yarn also an echo text standard and the black one so these two colors beige and black to start with I'm gonna be using the black color do the loop and change 25 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 so these are 25 chains and then um, change to and you come back to the third stitch So you, then you will have three loops on the needles and pull the yarn through. This is called half double crochet and keep doing this all the way through the end of the row. Before you reach the end of the first row, so this is the last stitch, and then you change two and turn the work. Now we're gonna be using only the back loop only. So this would be the one, two, three, the third stitch. And you keep doing the half double crochet back loop only like this all the way along the same as row number one so keep doing this for 24 rows I've done 24 rows of the half double crochet back loop only. It looks like this. Now I'm gonna show you how to join this side to the other side by turning your work. You need to bring the other side together and insert the crochet hook through the back loop to back loop and then just slip stitch and the next stitch back loop to the back loop 
pull through back loop with back loop pull through back loop and back loop pull through Let's keep doing that to the end of the once you reach the end of the row it looks like this and then you will crochet one and cut the yarn off so this is the wrong size and then you will turn the work The black yarn seems to be very difficult to film, even you do the pictures, it's quite difficult to find the, the right setting for the black colors. And now I'm going to show you what to do next. Just grab the beige color. you will get the beige yarn like this tie the knot so now you will crochet one and then go to the next one and you so just keep doing single crochet all the way round here um, so where to put the needles put the hook to make the single crochet you can see I will go one here and one here close to it. Single crochet. So basically it's in between the two rows you will get three single crochet. This is the row, one row that we did the uh, half double crochet and this is one row of the half double crochet and there is a one looks like a heart shape here in the middle you just make one single crochet in one row one single crochet here one single crochet here and then you make one single crochet in between two one single crochet here, one here, one here, one on this slide too. One here, one here, one here, one on this slide too. So to make um, 48 single crochet stitches, once you reach the end of the first row here, you need to join these together by insert the hook here, pull the yarn through to make the slip stitch and then crochet three chains and you will go to the one the stitch next to three chains and keep doing the double crochet so I have reached the end of the row and I'm gonna show you how you can join the rows together by going 
to the third change like this and then just put the needles through the back loop like this pull the yarn through and you change three double crochet on the next stitch So do this for every row of the double crochet. So I have one row of double crochet, this is my second row and you need six, six rows of this. So this is row number six of double crochet that I have done. You don't count this single crochet row. I'm just counting the this row one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna explain about this row. You don't crochet to the end, but you will leave about eleven stitches here to make the thumb. So how to count? This is row six, and you count one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you will leave this and just go to the th third stitch of this change through the yarn through a slip stitch. So this part here will be the thumb part which we will do it later on so I'm just trying to show you how it looks like and then you will just keep doing the double crochet all the way long and make the total of 12 rows by chain 3 and then you come back here continue doing double crochet for 12 rows after you've done the last row, um, you will change one and then cut off the yarn and pull it through. You leave it about. I would say the same length of these needles, more or less. And I'm going to show you how to close up the top part of the mitten here by using the yarn needles. Just insert the needles through the front loop only and pull it tight. Let's keep doing this and make sure you pull it every time you insert the needles in the front loop. So to make this top part of the mitten it's tighter just keep pulling it while you 
insert in the needle. So once you done this method, it looks similar to this on the top part and with the end of the yarn you just insert it to somewhere to hide the end a few times to make sure it doesn't come out Now we're going to do this part, the thumb part. So just grab the the beach yarn, which is the same as this part here. They are using the same color. You just insert the. the yarn through the stitch where we left them so we left 11 of them so insert the thread and then tie it tight crochet do three chains and then just double crochet for 11 stitches So you have here three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You will go to the next one here at the corner. So that will make twelve. And here one more thirteen. And one in the middle here would make 14, 11, 12, 13, 14. This thread, the yarn, the end of the yarn here, you just hide it inside. 14, 15 here. And 16 at the corner and you join the stitch together by using slip stitch so this would be the first row first row the total of 16 stitches of double crochet do this for five more rows that would be the total of six row. So I've got six rows one, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna draw this last row together, chain one, then cut the thread, uh, cut the yarn, I'm just keep, keep seeing thread. So using the yarn needle, like this, and we gonna do exactly the same as the, the top part here. 
by inserting the needles front loop only let's keep going round this will be the thumb part the total of 16 stitches Make sure you keep pulling the yarn all the way through. So this will be automatic tied. For the rest of the yarn you have, you just hide them somewhere. I'm just doing this a few times so to make sure the ends doesn't come out. So it looks like this for the yarn that we have inside here you just turn the work inside out and just check if there is any access yarn that you need to sew the ends in just hide them a completed pair of buttons for woman size you can use any color you like but I'm just testing out with this black and beige which I think they pass together just keep your hands warm in those cold days you can also fold this into half if you like the short version and this part here you can do it shorter this is where we change 25 stitches if you don't like this cuff here this long you can always do the shorter version of maybe 20 or the 15 but I think this lens here is always good because it's covered the cuff area is better so they've done thanks for watching